This is the channel No Knock Productions and I'm going to show you how to separate a model in Hexagon which is free at the DAS store and then put it back into DAS Studio. This has been a problem that many people seem to have. I've only just started using Hexagon and so far seems like a good piece of software to be honest. I'm currently making a dinosaur documentary with um, some very good friends and we're going to go through the entire history of dinosaurs and because in our fight scenes we are going to need um, disemboweled heads and limbs um, so you can tell it's a very gory documentary so I thought if this helps anyone create content as well then it might be of uh, great help to them so without further ado to separate models using hexagon then putting them into Daz Studio, so I'm going to do that as well. Alright, so this is the Spinophorosaurus uh, model. I'm going to put it into Hexagon. You just drag and click like so. Might take a bit of time if you've got a slow computer. <laughs> right, let's go up to him. So just press Alt and click the mouse button. We'll just go back a bit. I want you to click Control A, and then I want you to deselect the parts which you do not wish to delete. So I'm just going to do this piece by piece. Unfortunately, it does take a while, but I won't. I won't do too many pieces as to just. Um, Save you a bit of time. So, so. Mm. I think I might do just one more. One more after that. Right, that'll do. And because I have selected the eyes, I'm also going to deselect them if I can find them. And normally at the bottom. There we are. So as you can see, everything is selected apart from the head and neck. So all I'm going to do is press the button delete, and all we've got left is the head and neck. As you can see there, a rather great model that I'll be doing, Spinophorosaurus. Right, so we're going to put it into Daz Studio. Now I have tried this, but unfortunately it doesn't seem to work every time I do it. So for the moment, I'm going to save as. I'm going to save it as Spinoborosaurus Head 3, because I've done this once before. So I'm going to save. And then with Daz Studio, which I'm going to get up, I'm going to put File. I'm going to Import. And then it should say Spinophorosaurus Head. So let's select that. Mainly because I've already done it, I think it would come up again. But never mind. Uh, so we're going to click Accept. Actually, we're going to just adjust the size a bit. I'm going to do... Well, I try... Originally, I did try the Dell Studio, which is normally the standard, the default uh, translation. One unit for one centimeter. But in this case, I'm going to do... Um, maybe one unit per one meter. Let's just try that one, shall we? And there we are. Spinophorosaurus head in the studio, and then you can just mess about there at will. Okay, I hope this was uh, as entertaining for you as it was for me. Um, if you have any more requests, just put them in the comment section. I'll see if I can get around to it. And uh, yeah, I hope this helped you in your animating journey. So. Thank you very much.